back to the featured table, where Phil Ivey and everyone else in the room trying to balance survival and chip accumulation with the final table so close. Ivy with pocket eights. Ivy won his first bracelet in 2000 in Potlum at Omaha. Heads up against Amarillo Slim. A changing of the guard. That's the last time Slim made a World Series final table. Phil raised to 320. Showman with pocket deuces. Jeff Shulman looks like a Hollywood producer who hasn't had a movie made in about six years. <laughs> he lays this hand down. Action on George Kara Jorgis, a restaurant owner from Montreal. And he'll lay it down. Nick Maimoni. Here's the kitty corner. Maimoni, Lichtenberger, Mattis, and Canna. There should be a cotton candy machine on that side of the table. <laughs> Mattis lays it down on young Joe Canna. Canna won't play this hand either. So they'll leave it up to the old guys. 27-year-old Jordan Smith in the big blind with ace-nine offsuit. Smith's only 27, but he just seems more world-weary. Wondering what Ivy might have raised with under the gun. He figures Ivy doesn't have much, so he's going to raise it with that ace to one million. There's three betting Ivy with ace-nine off. I'm going to you behind. I don't know. Actually, this is the second time Ivy's asked him that with a pocket pair, and it's the second time Smith has had ace nine. Sometimes it's not what they answer, but how they answer. I'm gonna start with six, six and a half or six or something like that. Uh, I'd like to tell you what Phil Ivey is thinking, but he thinks at a much higher level than I do, so I don't want to pull a brain muscle. <laughs> Ivey needs 680,000 more to make the call and does toss it in casually. The last time these two were matched up, Ivey was in the blind. This time Smith's in the blind and Ivey has position. Smith and Ivey will see a flop. The flop is five, queen, ten. Ivy's pocket eights are still best. Jordan Smith just has ace high. And he checks it. Come on, Phil, you got pocket pair. Show some pep in your step. No, oh, he checks with two overs on that flop. And now the turn card is another queen. Ivy still best, and he adds a flush draw. And Jordan Smith still with just ace high. Smith? Check. We'll check again. This is a spot Ivy might pounce on with a pair and a flush draw. But no, he checks too. I'm surprised. River card, ace of spades. Ivy with a check mark hitting his flush. Smith, though, got that ace. He has aces up. Check. Checks again. Check. Check. Ace. Ivy checks. I guess Ivy was worried about a higher spade flush. Smith shows his aces up. Ivy mocks his flush. He just mucked his hand. He can't even win when he wins. Phil, you had a flush. Five suited cards is a flush. You gotta be kidding me. But Smith will take that pot. I am barring Phil from the big game for 30 days. Phil Ivy mucked the winner. Wow. Phil, you misread your hand. You misread your hand. How could you misread your hand?